Hello Internet, this is a question that I'm asked quite regularly by students and other live users uh, and that question is why do my kicks sound so different after I import them into Arrangement View um, from when I originally previewed them in the live browser. So they sound one way in the live browser and then you import them into Arrangement View and they sound uh, a little different. Uh, and the answer to this is actually pretty simple but took me a long, long time to find out. Um, it's the fades that live applies to the beginning and end of each clip, uh, audio clip that you import into a session. So let me show you what I mean. If I just search for a kick drum here in the live browser, and then I'm going to pull it into the timeline, and I'm just going to copy it a few times here. Then I'm going to come over to the automation lane uh, menu list here and uh, select fades. And now we can see that each clip has a very, very short fade applied to the beginning and end of each clip. This fade actually lasts for 0.4 milliseconds, which doesn't seem like a lot of time, but when we're working with kick drums, it's actually super important. Um, a lot of the character of the kick drum can usually be defined in the very first, you know, fraction of a second, um, and even this super short fade will have a pretty big impact on its sound. So we're going to do a little test here. I'm going to copy this kick drum clip again, but this time I'm going to get rid of the fade by clicking and dragging this automation point here. So now the fade in for that clip has essentially been removed, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this clip a few more times, and then we're going to listen back to all of these clips to hear the difference. So these first four kicks we're going to hear with the fades applied, and the last four we will hear without the fades. Okay, let's just listen. Make sure you have some headphones on for this part. Here we go. So you can hear there, there's a pretty drastic difference. Uh, the last four kicks have this quite, quite a strong click sound at the beginning that the first four kicks have lost because of that fade automation. Now, this might not affect all of your clips in such a drastic way, but it's definitely worth being aware of, uh, especially if you're making any type of club music where the impact of the kick is obviously pretty crucial. If you want to avoid this entirely, you can in fact use an option in the Record Warp Launch tab of the Preferences pane here. The option you're looking for is Create Fades on Clip Edges here. Turn this off and Live will stop automatically applying fades to your clips when you import them and that will solve this problem.